Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily Word. I'm really glad that you've joined me. And for our Daily Word today, we're going into the Gospel of John, chapter 8. I want to share with you verses 31 to 37. And then let's talk just for a few minutes today about the conditions of true freedom. Jesus said to the people who believed in Him, You are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. But we are descendants of Abraham, they said. We've never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean you will be set free? Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, everyone who sins is a slave of sin. A slave is not a permanent member of the family, but a son is part of the family forever. So if the son sets you free, you are truly free. Yes, I realize that you are descendants of Abraham, and yet some of you are trying to kill me because there's no room in your hearts for my message. So think with me about the conditions of true freedom, and I'd like to offer you uh, quickly three uh, of those conditions that we see here in the scriptures that Jesus answers, uh, that he provides. And first of all, uh, that he says that you will know the truth. Truth is required in order for us to be truly free. True freedom requires truth, but slavery requires deception, denial, the denial of who we truly are. And so to know Jesus, to know the revelation of Jesus by the Word of God is to know the truth about who we are about why it is that we were made, what we were made for. That is, that we were made to glorify God, to show how good He is, to be a reflection of the goodness of God. And secondly, we were made to enjoy God, to enjoy relationship, fellowship with God, to delight in God forever. And not only does Jesus reveal that truth, but He reveals the truth of how it is that we could be saved, how we could be restored. It's very clear about this, that no one comes to the Father but by Him. He's very clear that in God's great love, He sent His Son, Jesus, so that all who would believe in Him, put their trust in Him, that they would be saved. Now, not only do we need truth in order to be truly free, but also we must... Um, no longer be a slave to sin. Bound by the desires of our flesh, we are slaves under, uh, uh, under the, 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 the control of the fear of death that the devil holds of us, over us. We are slaves. But you see, the, the flesh was meant to be, I think a way of saying it is, a servant of the heart the heart that serves God. But what we know is that in the fall, when we chose sin, when humankind rebelled against God, our hearts were corrupted. Our hearts have been captured by, by sin and by pride. And, and so the scripture even says that our hearts are deceitful above all things. And, and our flesh then isn't the servant of a heart that uh, that would please God, that, that would serve God, uh, our flesh reigns over us. Uh, our hearts are employed, our minds are employed to justify, to make excuses for that which we know in our souls, in our conscience, is not right. Our flesh reigns over us. Sin holds us captive and captive to death. And as I said, as the Scripture says, Satan holds this power, the fear of death over us, and Jesus cancels it all. On His cross, He takes our debt of sin. And not only that, not only does He wipe away the guilt, and, and with it does He cancel our death, and does He break the power of the one who holds that, that power of death, that fear of death over us, but He breaks the hold of sin over us. He actually changes our hearts and restores us more and more every day to the image of God, to His image 
in which we were created. There is therefore more and more room in our hearts for His Word, for His message as we are transformed. We, we come more and more into this freedom, into this free indeed that Jesus talks about. And then finally, we see that we in Christ Jesus are no longer slaves, but sons and daughters. A slave, if you, if you think of this this way, is always trying to, to please the master, a servant always trying to please the master in order to continue to have this place in the master's household. His uh, employment, his position, his place is dependent on pleasing the master. There would be punishment or a change in position, a casting out of the, the household, but a son or a daughter has a permanent place. That son may, may mess up, may stumble, may fall, and yet that son still has that relationship with the Father. We are, by the grace of Jesus, adopted as children of God, and so we don't have to live in fear. Am I earning my relationship today? Am I doing enough? Am I being enough so that the, the, the master will accept me? No, no. Jesus has done enough so that we are accepted by the Father. We are declared to be His, His children and His children forever. And friends, in these ways, we see that Jesus has provided us with what is true freedom. That's why we read here that that the truth will set us free, that we will be free indeed in Him. So if the Son sets you free, verse 36 says, you are truly free or free indeed. Thanks be to God for Jesus Christ our Lord who sets us free. Amen. Amen. And friends, until we have a chance to speak again, I pray that God would bless you and that He would keep you.